Create vertical portal incisions by palpating above the joint line near the inferior pole of the patella. These incisions should be used since they allow for compensation of tibial plateau slope. A portal placed too low increases interference with the femoral condyle. A portal placed too high increases interference with the tibial plateau. Appropriate portal placement and vertical incisions allow for compensation of tibial plateau slope as well as room for superior and inferior adjustments. For the sequential meniscal running stitch technique, use a probe to approximate the deepest depth of needle penetration that will be needed. Cut the depth stop sheath to the appropriate graduation. Ensure the depth stop will allow the needle to penetrate the meniscus at the deepest portion of the tear. Insert the sequin entry cannula into the portal. Introduce the sequin device along the concave surface of the entry cannula with the depth stop sheath covering the tip of the needle. Pull back on the depth stop sheath until it engages fully onto the handle. Ensure that the switch is forward in the free wheel position and pierce through the meniscus. Use the needle markings to ensure the proper depth of penetration. To place the first implant, pull back and release the trigger to deploy an implant. Withdraw the needle from the meniscus. Move the switch backwards to the ratchet position to tension the suture. The red dot should be exposed. Pull back on the device and reel the thumb wheel to tension the suture and ensure that the implant is set. Move the switch forward into the free wheel position to create slack in the suture. Target the position of the next implant on the meniscus. To place the second implant and fix the stitch, again pierce the meniscus. Rotate the device two full revolutions engaging the knotless fixation. Advance the trigger forward to prepare the device for implant deployment and then pull back and release to deploy the next implant. Withdraw the needle from the meniscus. Move the switch into the ratchet position. Pull back to tighten the stitch and reel the suture in to remove excess slack. Move the switch into the freewheel position. Repeat the steps to create multiple sequential stitches. Pierce the meniscus. Rotate the device twice. Advance the trigger to reset. Pull and release the trigger to deploy an implant. Withdraw the needle from the meniscus and tension the stitch. Continue creating sequential stitches until the meniscal running repair is complete. After the last stitch, remove the sequent meniscal repair device from the joint. Load the suture cutter onto the suture outside of the joint. Holding the cutter perpendicular and the suture taut, load the suture into the cutter slot. Rotate the cutter shaft to align axially with the suture. Keep the thumb resting on the blue thumb rest and keeping the suture taut, slide the suture cutter down the suture. The entry cannula facilitates easy entry of the suture cutter into the joint. When ready to cut the suture, press the red lever. The most important benefit of the sequin is its multiple sequential stitch capability, providing the versatility to fix numerous types of repairs. The sequin allows the user to change portals or create a new sequence of stitches during the surgery and still use the same device. When using this technique, the user should ensure that there are enough implants remaining in the device to create the desired number of stitches. Cut the suture flush to the meniscus. Remove the device from the joint and pull out enough suture from the needle to tie a knot. Tie a figure of eight, leaving approximately 10 millimeters of suture tail. Move the switch back to the ratchet position and reel the suture so that the knot is drawn into the starting implant. The device is now reset and can be used to create another continuous stitch.